your value isn't translating. I'm going to speak especially about money today and having people really not see your value, having people not pay you, having people um, not show up in your DMs wanting to work with you, say, people saying things like, oh my god, you're on my vision board and I want to work with you or oh my god, like I've figured it out, I've manifested working with you when really you are amongst the best in what you do and you've tried everything or almost everything and you're not understanding why your value isn't translating and you might also be experiencing this in your relationships where you don't feel valued you don't feel appreciated to the degree that you know that you can. So in this video, we are going to talk about shifting it and so that you can be shown up for, so that you can have high paying clients, so that you can have people really beautifully mirroring your value back to you. Oh my God, um, how can we work together? Oh my God, how can we make this happen? Um, is there any way that we can make this happen? Okay, well, uh, instead of I can't afford to work with you, right? Maybe it's let me sign up for this program first um, so that I can at least get into your world right now and then I'll work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not going to wait, right? This whole waiting thing, people not fully investing in you because they don't see your value. So, the only reason why someone is not seeing your value is because of how you're showing up. I can guarantee you that you are thinking more of them than you are of yourself, okay? So you might accidentally be thinking of the clients that you don't really want, okay? And then you think about this dominantly, you make content and it's either more or less crickets or the people that you don't really want to work with signing up and then you feel frustrated and then it becomes this hamster wheel, right? You're accidentally being that version of self. I'm going to give you a really good example, okay? I want you to imagine that you are an actress, okay? And you take on a role of a someone who's in the military, okay? Someone who's in the military, someone who is a high-ranking officer in the military. And this role is absolutely grueling, okay? And it's intense. And you have to be in it, not all the time, not all day, not 24-7, 365, okay? But for a good portion of your day, you are in this role of someone who is a high-ranking military officer, okay? Your, your posture changes, okay? The way that you speak changes. You start speaking in a more direct fashion. You don't beat around the bushes. You say the things, Okay, when someone is not being responsible, if someone is um, not thinking, right, and just doing something, you immediately notice and you don't get mad at them necessarily. You might point it out and you debrief them around what occurred, okay, without any, without making them feel bad about it. You're, you just are direct to the point, okay? And then all of a sudden, that role ends. Do you think that you are not going to be more direct? Do you think that after playing that role that you're not going to be better at debriefing people and having it be this very non-emotional thing? Do you think people are going to perceive you as more assertive? Of course they are because you've been playing this role. Now, was that role real? Were you really in the military in this example, right? Maybe you watching, I don't know, right? Um, I have quite a few clients.
clients that either are in the military or have been in the military, actually. So do you think that that's not going to translate? Of course it is. Even though it wasn't real, even though you weren't really this officer, okay? It's the same thing when you're constantly playing the role of the person whose value isn't seen by, seen by your ideal people, okay? Um, who's constantly thinking about how your clients are overwhelming, okay? How uh, your clients are maybe boring you. And, and listen, I also want you to know that this is really normal, okay? If you're having the experience of clients not taking responsibility, okay? Of clients that are like, I can't pay you. Yeah, it is normal to react to that. It is normal to be like, I don't like this, right? I want, I want ideal clients. Often though, people get stuck in this. And then what happens is that assertion, right? That ability to show up in that way, because it's the role that you've been playing, starts to come out in your content, Okay, starts to come out in your content, starts to come out in the things you say, starts to come out in your scent, your aura. And this is where people, your ideal people, don't even recognize you. Okay, that's not really what's happening, but that's the experience that you're going to have. This is also true in love. If you've played the woman who is not prioritized or cheated on or um, dishonored, not appreciated, not cherished, not loved, not chosen for a very long time. Well, what happens is, unfortunately, your aura, again, this is not how it works. Everything exists inside of a state, but this is what it's going to look like is happening your aura has that vibe and you can only experience more of that. Now, here's where support, in my opinion, is so key. Here's where support and having high level support has changed my life and changes my clients' lives fast, okay? When you've played a certain role for so long or when you're surrounded by other people that are reflecting these things back to you yeah like you actively have clients that are not taking responsibility you're like yeah it's easy for you to say but you open your voxer okay or you open however you communicate with clients and there's 10 messages that are all about the same thing and they're not taking responsibility right that brings you right back and you put the outfit back on and then you go to make your content and bam what happens by the way firing those clients is not going to necessarily solve that problem it can only when and i'm not telling you to do that by the way that's um it it has nothing to do with them they are actually reflecting you. You also get to have standards around who you work with. Okay? It's the same thing in relationship. You don't even have to have a conversation with someone to experience them radically changing and prioritizing you because your scent, your essence, your aura, again, this isn't what it actually is, but your state of being shifts and changes. And One of the things that I hear all the time um, from people before they choose to hire me is I've been doing this for years. (laughs) I've been working on this for years. I've taken every program. I've done everything. Yeah. But what they didn't do is change who they're being in really practical, tangible ways that are in alignment with what they want, okay? So let me give you another example. A client comes in, I'm thinking of a specific client um, who went from having really horrible relationships and not being able to keep money, not having money come in to tripling her income, 
to having a radical turnaround in her relationship, okay? So one day, early, early on in our work together, she said to me, oh my God, I'm valuing myself now. And so I'm going to say this to him, okay? The person that she was dating and they were having issues. I'm valuing myself now. So I'm going to say this to him, okay? I was like, tell me what it is. (laughs) She told me what it was. And I was like, hmm, that's curious. Now you can say that. Also, have you said this already? And she said, no, I haven't. I said, okay, do you want, do you want to talk about it? She's like, yeah, I really do. I said, okay, so you can say that. You can send that message. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. You don't have to experience like consequences or anything like this. And I'm really curious about whether or not you really think that the version of you that fully values yourself in relationship would even send that message. And we had this moment. She's like, oh yeah, I really think, I really think that, uh, that yeah, like I would. And I was like, okay, cool. And then I gave her some examples. Let me give you some examples of something I would say. Okay. And as she listened to the examples that I gave her, she went, huh? Wow, I can really see how I'm not valuing myself. I was like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because here's where it gets tricky, okay? You do value yourself, okay? You do value yourself. You are just so used, if you're not having the reflection of being valued, okay? You are used to showing up in a specific way that is so unconscious that you are not seeing it. And that's why it's frustrating. That's why you're struggling to shift it. Let me give you another example, okay? Um, you're working out and you have this propensity to really stick your butt out when you're doing squats or when you're working out, okay? Overextending your lower back. Yeah? And that's causing injuries for you. You're you're having this lower back pain. And you're like, no, I've stopped doing that. Okay? I've stopped doing that. I've been really conscious about it. But the lower back pain hasn't gone away. If we watched you like a hawk, and this was your deal, okay? If we watched you like a hawk, guarantee you, you're still overextending your lower spot, your lower back, okay? guarantee you oh but I stopped doing that guarantee you haven't if you're still experiencing the thing yeah so now it doesn't mean that you're not doing it sometimes it doesn't mean that you're not aware of your lower back yeah or how you're doing it or that you've gotten better or that it's changed significantly doesn't mean that it means some way somehow you're still overextending it yeah some way somehow you're doing things that look like You don't value yourself even if you do. Yeah? You're showing up to your relationships like you don't value yourself. You, because you're afraid to lose connection. Okay? You're afraid to lose clients. You're afraid to push clients that you want away. All of this is driven by scarcity. When you're dominantly in scarcity, you are going to have the scent of scarcity even if you value yourself, okay? Even if you value yourself. Does that make sense? Let me know. Let me know if that makes sense. And then you are going to say things that sound like a person that doesn't value themselves. You're going to say things that sound like a person who doesn't value their work. If you are not making the amount of money in your business, if you are not making minimum $10,000 per month in your business, okay, if you are not having the experience in relationships that you want, 
show me how you're showing up. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's look at it. And I will show you exactly how you, your, exactly how you're not owning your value and exactly why that's not translating. Okay. And the other thing I want to name is this is where people are afraid to look because they have a lot of shame around this. Oh my God. But like I do value myself and they don't want to look at it. And, and actually the shame is really preventing them from just shifting the awareness. And here's what I want to say to you. If, if you experienced this, okay. Like so many people I've worked with, it is okay. Yeah, it is okay. It's okay to feel shame. It's okay to wish that you were further ahead in life. It is okay to wish that, you know, you had figured it out by now. Okay. It's okay to wish that you said something different to that person. It's okay to wish that you handled the relationship or the client thing differently. Sitting in shame is just going to increase the pungency of the scent that you want to get rid of though is the thing okay so you can feel the shame you can accept it and you can love yourself in that and then decide who you're being and have your reality shift on a dime on a dime as to where you start experiencing instant manifestations every single day in your relationships, in your business, people are signing up. People are like, Oh my God, I want to work with you. Oh my God, you're on my vision board. Oh my God. You know what? I want to work with you one-on-one. I'm going to hop in this program first though. Um, cause I'm figuring it out. I am figuring this out. People, people in relationship, they are figuring it out. Everyone in your world is figuring it the bleep out. I don't know if I can swear on here. I say this every time. They are figuring it the bleep out. They're like, oh my God, you? How do I make this happen? How do I be with you? How do I have a relationship with you? Oh my God, you're incredible. By the way, on the other side, they have never felt so seen, so felt, so understood as they do with you. Okay, in a relationship, they've never felt so turned on. So like, oh man, I just can't stop thinking about her right? I can't stop thinking about her. I can't get her off my mind every single damn time. (laughs) Clients are stalking your stories, your posts. They're just like, my God, I can't wait. I get to work with her. Oh my God, can you believe it? Like, this is my coach. Or if you sell products, right? Oh my God, this is the person I buy the products from. Oh my God. When I put the cream on, I think about what she stands for, who she is, her essence. They want your scent (laughs) all over them. (laughs) Okay. And this translates into being pursued, being shown up for, having a minimum of $10,000 come in every single month, predictably, consistently. You don't even have to think about it. It's just on repeat. And you don't have to hustle or try anymore because it's fast. And you start to understand that you really are the source of everything in your world in a way that most people only ever dream about, but never experience. So instead of looking out there, there is no out there out there. You look within and you know that that is the beginning beginning and end of everything that you get to experience. And you start being the version of you who is so powerful. You walk into a room, your presence is felt. 
Yeah. Something that would take another coach days, weeks, multiple conversations to shift. You send a one minute voice note to a client or you have a 10 minute conversation or a two minute conversation or a five minute conversation and they're like, you rocked my whole world. I finally see this differently. Something I've been holding on for decades in one minute because you're showing up as this version of you that is just absolutely dripping in value, in power. And this is something that I absolutely love helping people own and tap into. And I love even more hearing, oh my God, I just got a new client. Oh my God, Pamela, they texted me. Oh my God, Pamela, he just said I'm the love of his life. Oh my God, Pamela, we're getting married. Oh my God, Pamela, we're having a baby. Oh my God, he said... Um, I'm the love of his life. He's, I'm his everything. Oh my God, Pamela. He said, I'll never have to work again if I don't want to, right? But I want to because I love it. But oh my God, I can't believe it. Or maybe you don't want to. <laughs> oh my God, Pamela. Someone just said to me that they put me on their vision board. I've never had someone say that to me before. Oh my God, Pamela. This client said that they manifested working with me. And they've been manifesting it for, for six months. And they're so excited to get started. When you shift how you're showing up, and you show up in a completely different way, where you are owning your value and you are unwavering in what you say, which I help you with, should I say this? I'll let you know. <laughs> and then you can check in with yourself always, of course, too. Does that feel good? Does that feel authentic? Does that feel like the thing that you want to say? And then we can tweak it. We can refine it. Right? What are you saying in your business? What's your content look like? And we can tweak and refine that, too. So that your value is really highlighted and you're shining. Because you know who you are. You really do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be watching this. And you get to actually experience that versus having the experience of that being withheld from you. Because you actually deserve better than that. You have to decide that you do and go all in first. And you've got this. If you are desiring support with us and it is going to change your life forever. In my spaces, my clients end up looking totally different totally different one of my clients right now she looks more magnetic than she's ever looked she's radiant she is so attractive she can't keep the men away everywhere she goes they're hitting on her they're like oh my god who are you the clients are flooding in Okay? And she's working less than she's ever worked in her entire life. In her entire life. And this is, she is so clear. We just talked about this. How this is about experiencing the truth of who she is. The woman who is so highly valued, who's prioritized, who's shown up for, who's just pure fucking magic in form. I desire this, bam, there it is. It goes way beyond, oh my God, you have 10K months, which is incredible, or more, 30K, 50K, 100K. It goes way beyond that. And when you realize that, man, everything changes and there's no competition. And everything starts to happen really, really, really fast. 
Are you afraid to leave other people behind? Are you afraid to leave other people in the dust? Are you afraid of being that shiny, that perfect? You think that you can preserve connection the connections that you probably don't even really enjoy by staying small by pretending you're not a genius by pretending that you're not as incredible as you are maybe you don't want to intimidate people men you don't want to scare them away but then you wonder why you're not having the experiences that you want yeah, and that's the epitome of not valuing the truth of who you are. And when we shift this, everything changes so, so fast. And like I said, you deserve this. If this is something that you want more information about and you want to share your unique situation with me, ask me about it. Then send me an email, Pamela at theawakenedaphrodite.com. Or you can fill out the one-on-one -on -one intake form on my website at theawakenedaphrodite.com. It will say work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You can click there. I also have other ways that you can work with me. Right now you can sign up for Unity, which is a six-week live program. You can also get on the waiting list for my upcoming mastermind which is the lowest investment one-on-one -on -one work that I offer, okay? You will have one-on-one -on -one connection with me in a group setting. And the beautiful thing about my mastermind, Worshipped and Wealthy, is you're going to get to hear the other women share the things that they're going through. And that's really going to help you shift things that you didn't even know were there, okay? It's one of the things I love about my mastermind. And that starts in mid-October. The pricing on that is going to go up. So if you want in now, then let me know and you will massively save. And you'll get all of the juicy bonuses too. The women that are um, going to be in it, the women that I'm aware of so far that are going to be in it, are absolutely mind-blowing. You, uh, you are going to love them. They're incredible women. You're going to feel at home. You're going to feel so celebrated. You're going to feel so welcome, so safe, um, excited. So send me a DM at The Awakened Aphrodite on Instagram. Send me an email, Pamela at theawakenedaphrodite.com. Or go to my website, theawakenedaphrodite.com, and click on Work With Me 101. Fill out the intake form. And I'm so excited to meet you and watch your life change in front of my very eyes. <laughs> I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching, for being here, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And you know whether it's day or night, I love you. I love you. I love you. And you've got this. You're seeing this for a reason. You've got this. <laughs>